Now on Talking Solutions, our friend Janine McCoy from United Blood Services. Welcome back. Thanks for having us. It's been a while. It has. You guys were in the news so much. Mm -hmm. One October, there were lines of people wanting to donate from the very first day they heard about the tragedy. Right. So there was a lot of activity with donation of blood at that time. But now that it's quieted a few months down the road... Where do you stand? It's been pretty interesting. Right now, we're asking the community to come down to our donor centers and our community blood drives and donate. Many people have come down with the flu or with really bad cold, and people who normally do donate aren't able to because they're not healthy and well. So we still need the community to help us support our hospitals and meet the needs of the patients. Because no matter what the situation is with people's health, or as they were calling it on the news recently, the flu epidemic, which they They say is in every state except Hawaii. It's so prevalent right now. I can see how that would impact you. But as far as the demand, that never goes down. It never goes away. And we have to constantly replenish the blood that we're using. Blood only has a shelf life of 42 days. So we need to be responsible stewards of our blood supply and make sure that we have a constant and steady and ample supply readily available. I can't imagine any kind of scenario where something would sit on a shelf because we have too much need. 700? Yes. Units a day? 700 units a day. And you need that for all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Our blood goes to cancer patients, burn victims, trauma patients, anybody who needs to have a blood transfusion. And you never know who that person is going to be or when you're going to need it. Exactly. You're in a car accident and you need blood right now. Mm -hmm. There's no time for your family to step up and go, hey, we can help. Mm -hmm. No, we need to have the blood supplies on hand when needed 24-7. Exactly. We were just talking before the show today about how much Clark County has grown. We're now looking at 2 million people. So you've got to have more demand for blood than ever. We do. Not only is our city growing, but we also have to meet the needs of all the visitors who come into Vegas every weekend for conventions. They have accidents too. We need to help them as well. And just like the growth of the city continues Mm -hmm. at a rapid pace, the number of visitors, 42 million or something like that a year. We got to cover them. Mm Mm-hmm. If for some reason they do end up in an accident or have a need for a blood supply, that it's there. Exactly. Which is what happened on October 1. I think people maybe still have in the back of their mind that mental picture of people lining up by the hundreds, thousands, to the point where I know you guys had to say, hey, could you schedule and we'll get you in here to get the blood? Right. Not so many lines now. No. But like United Blood Services always does, Mm -hmm. you've got blood drives. People can schedule appointments. I was was looking at the website. They were talking about being an ambassador and helping to set up a blood drive where you work or at your church or at your school. Yes. And if you wanted to do a community blood drive or have a blood drive at your work, you can give me a call at 702-236-236. 2282. We'd be more than happy to set something up with you. You know that I'll have the numbers and everything and websites, links, all of that on the Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with a podcast of our discussion today. It's Janine McCoy and with us from United Blood Services. Ongoing donors are a very small percentage of our population. People who are healthy, willing, and step up. How many days do they have to wait between donation periods? 42 days. And it's shifted a little bit, but in the past, 2% of the population would donate here. And that was what was needed to help supply the hospitals and the patients in need. That demand has grown. So we're asking everybody who did come down or who did want to come down on October 1 to continue to donate. Donate three times a year because we need to make sure that we're meeting the patient's needs. Well, when you talk about 2% or just slightly more, that small percentage of people are carrying the heavy load for everybody else. They are. One of the slogans that I've seen for a number of years now is find the hero in you. Yes. Taking an hour out of your day can potentially save up to three patients' lives. So you are a hero. I tell my kids, I'm a superhero because I'm helping to make a difference and save someone's life. You're part of that small percentage, as we said, carrying the load for everybody else and that we need at least 700 units of blood on a daily basis for a lot of different reasons, Mm -hmm. for a lot of different uses. But the main thing is you're making a true difference and perhaps saving the lives of up to three other people. Right. People that you'll never meet, but it doesn't matter because if you ever have that kind of need, it's going to be there for you. That's why United Blood Services is here every day to help the community. It's a beautiful thing to be able to do. It really is. My mother was recently diagnosed 
diagnosed with cancer. I remember the phone call, very unexpected, and her telling me, I don't want you to be concerned, but I just got a platelet transfusion and the alarm bells went off. Someone took their time out of the day to do that donation, and my mom is alive, and she gets to spend time with my children and with me because someone took the time out of their day. It's an amazing thing to be able to do. Wow. Talk about making a difference. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about your mom. I'm wishing her well. She's in remission. This is a good thing. Keep all the positive vibes coming. United Blood Services, we talk about the blood drives that you have. Mm -hmm. The website would be a great place to find out where a blood drive is near you. I see that all over the website, they're looking for my zip code so that they can tailor the information that is offered to me to let me know what blood drives are going on in a neighborhood most convenient. Exactly. So you can go to bloodhero.com and you can find all of the community blood drives that are going on in your neighborhood, or you can make an appointment at one of our three donation centers. We have three centers throughout the Las Vegas Valley, one in the north part of Vegas, one that's a little bit more central, and then we also have another donor center in Henderson. So no matter where you are, Mm -hmm. they can be set up. Plus the blood drives, we're talking about the fact that those ongoing donors, although they are a very small percentage of the population, they make such a difference. Find the hero in you. I just like that slogan. You have hero rewards. Exactly. Actually, for the month of January, all donors will receive a free voucher to go to a show at Brooklyn Bowl. They've been an amazing partner this month with us. That's a big deal. It is. It's That's a, really a pricey cool gift. <laughs> Community partners are always stepping up to help you. Yes. With the Hero Rewards program. Right now, at this point in time, there's a great need for O negative donors. The demand is high. There's just not enough donors who are coming in due to the flu season. There is a great need. So if you are healthy and well, please make an appointment or even walk in, come to any of our community blood drives or any of our donor centers and donate. Is it because O negative is usable in different situations? I know some blood can be used across the board. Exactly. If you have O negative blood, you are considered to be the universal blood donor. If you're in a trauma accident, they don't have time in the hospitals usually to check to see what your blood type is. So they will automatically give you O negative blood. It's like generic. Mm -hmm. I remembered that there was one blood type that could be used for all kinds of purposes. You guys need more of that. Mm -hmm. You know, blood services, I guess the best thing to do is to go to the website. Yes. Bloodhero.com. Mm-hmm. Look and see what's on there. Yeah. See where a blood drive is. Give them your zip code and they'll tell you what's near. Mm-hmm. Or just turn around and make an appointment and do it on your schedule. Janine McCoy is with us today from United Blood Services. And you were saying the amount of time that you're committing for giving a blood donation is about an hour. It's about an hour of your time. It's a way to relax, get away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. You get to lay down, close your eyes. Get some cookies. Get a snack. Get a beverage. Save some lives. People talk nice to you because you're doing an incredibly nice deed. Right. It's uh, just an hour out of your day. And when you look at the grand scheme of things, that one hour is going to have an impact not only on the person who receives the blood, but their friends and family, because that gives them more time with their loved one. There's just really no downside. Doesn't United Blood Services get an incredible reaction from latter part of high school, college, that age, 17, 18, 19 years old? They seem to be very community oriented when it comes to things like donating blood. They are. It's such an amazing thing to see. Our high school students and college kids, 25% of our blood comes from the students. They're open to it. They are. It's not that big of a deal. They're like, sure, we'll get together for that. They get to take time out of their day, you know, from class, and they get to donate, save a few lives. Many teachers incorporate blood donation into their service learning projects. It's just a great way to give back. And that's why during the winter months and the summer months, we see a big dip in our donations. Part of it is because those regular donors are no longer in school. So you hear blood banks across the United States saying, We need the community to come in and step up because our regular donors are off on vacation. Well, could you have a few more impediments to trying to get that 700 units a day that you need to maintain the blood supply here in Southern Nevada? You mentioned earlier, flu season is really hitting us hard. Terrible. And not just taking people out of work and school, but also keeping them from donating blood. Mm -hmm. That's an impediment. The fact that with 1 October, there were the lines of people around the building, and now we're a few months down the road from that. That side of it has quieted. Not in the headlines as much. Got the flu season going on. Got your winter vacation.
communications. Huh. That's hard. That's Anytime yes. you need to get the word out, we need to be able to help you with that because it's a community-wide project. Yes, it is. Janine, you know, on Talking Solutions, we always ask, what can we do to help you? Thank you for having us on your show today and sharing the message with the community because sometimes I think if it's not in the forefront, if it's not in the news, it becomes forgotten. But the need for blood to help support our community is constant and ongoing. So we appreciate your support. Not a problem. People just need to get involved. Need to go to bloodhero.com. I'll have all the links, information on our Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with podcast of our discussion today. We really appreciate you coming to remind us that to be a part of this community, one of the important things is donating blood. Knowing that we have such a small percentage, Mm Janine, of people who actually participate in renewing that blood supply, coming in to give a donation to United Blood Services. Most of the people who are hearing this today aren't part of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have some reason to believe they would not be accepted as a blood donor. That O negative that you were saying that you specially need, they don't know. Might be O negative, not sure. But a good way to find out all of this. To come down and donate. Of course. And it's quick and easy, right? It's very quick and easy. Also, if you're not sure if you're able to donate, I know that there are a lot of misconceptions out there. You can go to our website And on the website, there's a tab that says donor eligibility, and you can check and see if you are eligible. Most people are, and they just don't realize that they are. And uh, the great thing is, if you don't know what your blood type is, we'll be able to tell you. And you'll get a blood donor card in the mail. I always say keep it in your wallet. That way, if you are in an accident, they know what your blood type is. I know you need to be 17 or older, and that you need to weigh a certain amount. Right. We have some height and weight requirements. If you're younger, that's on the website. If you recently got a tattoo, especially in Nevada, you are not eligible to donate for a whole entire year. I did not know this. Tattoos seem to be the thing right now. Right. And one October, a lot of people got the remembrance tattoos. Sure. Many people aren't eligible to donate until October. But down the road, you can. Down the road, you can. See all the things we're learning from you today? (laughs) For instance, that you have an especially acute need for O negative blood. We do. O negative blood can be used for anyone. Everybody and anyone. And newborn babies. O negative blood. If you've had a tattoo, you're off for a year as far as the ability to donate blood. Yes. And there are blood hero rewards that are kind of great. I love them. I call them frequent flower points. Is <laughs> <laughs> that a frequent flyer? Because every time you donate, you accumulate these points. It's a thank you from United Blood Services, but you can use them to redeem. You can get ice cream. You can get t-shirts, movies tickets. And then for the month of January, Brooklyn Bowl has partnered with us to give all blood donors entrance into their facility. They get to go to a show or something. Get to go to a show. You can bowl. There's a lot of fun things to do over there. Props to Brooklyn Bowl. (laughs) Their fried chicken's amazing. All right. I think we got the facts out there. I have to say, especially since after October 1, Mm -hmm. what's been interesting to see Vegas being a very transient city, seeing everybody come together. And sometimes we would call companies and say, you know, we'd like to partner with you or maybe we'd like to do a blood drive. And there wasn't a reluctance, but there wasn't as much buy-in. And now people see the importance. We always talk about being a part of this community Mm -hmm. and how Southern Nevada does come together in times of need, especially. But when it comes to blood, it's always a time of need. There's a constant need. Sometimes people say, I don't have any money to donate. We're not asking you to donate money. We're asking you to donate time and your blood to help save up to three patients' lives. Well said. Janine McCoy is with us from United Blood Services. Think about it because most people who are hearing our discussion today are not donating blood. Yeah. It's easy and it makes a real difference. It does. Janine McCoy, thank you so much for coming in to join us today on Talking Solutions. Thank you, Terry. 